First, we are tracking breaking news from the State House right now. Within the last 30 minutes, the Senate has passed the new budget. The spending plan closes an estimated $580 million deficit for this fiscal year and next. It also includes a controversial car tax provision, which gives cities and towns the power to jack up your vehicle tax. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live outside the State House with more on this breaking news. Mike, the vote came just about half an hour ago. The Senate said yes to a state budget that the House said yes to well after midnight. 30 in the affirmative, 6 in the negative. The act passes. With that, Rhode Island has a new spending plan for the rest of this fiscal year and for all of next fiscal year. The new budget will close a deficit of $180 million this year and a deficit of $400 million next year. It also cuts more than $150 million in state aid to cities, towns, and school districts, and it cuts pension benefits for state workers. What the budget doesn't do is raise taxes, but because of that, local communities fear being forced to raise taxes on property, including vehicles. Yeah, this has got to be, for me, the, the toughest budget vote I've ever had. I've been uh, going back and forth between supporting the budget and not supporting the budget, supporting the budget, and not supporting the budget. It's a very difficult budget. It's a very tough year. The budget now goes to Governor Don Kachiri, who was coy on whether he'll sign it or veto it. And I want to look at the whole thing. And, and might you veto, Governor? Call. No, I, I want to say that. I don't know yet, Sean. I, I've got to look at it. I've got a conference call this afternoon with the NGA on this whole issue, so we'll see. In the end, it won't matter whether Governor Kachiri vetoes the budget or signs it. The Democrats control the State House. They have the votes to override a veto. Live at the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.